Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is easy timeline linking in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, by default, if you bring in a video clip that has audio, they're linked together. Some people like to work in a completely unlinked world. Some pe people like linked. I like linked. And I've got some easy ways to work to temporarily link or unlink or globally link or unlink. Bottom line is it's way easier than you think. Let's take a look. So I've got a real simple timeline here with a bunch of clips stuck in here. Each one has two audio tracks and one video track. And then I've got a music track down here at the bottom and I've protected that track. I'm going to unprotect it for a second. Now in the top left hand corner, there is a linked selection um, choice. And if you turn this off, when you click on a clip, it only selects what you want or multiple clips of what you want. If you turn it back on, when you click on the video, it selects the audio. When you click the audio, it selects the video. No hard and fast rules on how you want to work, but those are the two options. Regardless of whether this is on or off, if you use the Alt key on Windows, the Option key on Mac, you can temporarily reverse this. So right now, when it's blue, it means everything is linked. If I hold Alt on Windows, Option on Mac, and click on the video, now I'm just selecting the video or the same with the audio or add the shift key and you're selecting multiple files. If you do the opposite way, so now this is unlinked, this is unlinked. If I hold the shift key down, I'm going to now select, see, the whole clip. So that's alt or option shift to select the whole clip. I leave it on for, uh, majority of times. Here's the other thing that, that I find people ask for all the time is they want to be able to move a clip up or down. And when you click, things are linked. And if you hold the option key on Mac, alt on Windows, and you use the up and down arrows, which is typical of Final Cut Pro, nothing moves because you're dealing with a linked selection. The issue here is that the video is on V1, the audio is on A1. If I want the video to go to V2, there's no audio less than audio one. It's already at the top, it's hitting the top. And because the two are linked, I can't do it. So a quick uh, fix is to temporarily unlink by holding Option or Alt on the video, keep Option or Alt, up arrow. Watch this. Holding Option or Alt, select, up arrow, boom. Right? And I could have done that easily over here. Holding Option or Alt, select all of this, up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 up. And it goes as far as it can. Now here's where it can get you into hot water. Let's say for whatever reason, I wanted to move one of these audio tracks down here to another track below. Your first thought might be is, oh, I'll hold down Option or Alt, click here and use the down arrow and hit it one more time. Oh, no. What happened? Every single time you move a video clip or an audio clip, a clip over a clip, you're going to remove what was there. It doesn't keep it there. Um, how would I protect this? Well, I wouldn't use the up and down arrows. Let me undo twice. I could either drag this or protect it. If I protect it, it won't move. So again, using the option or alt up and down and you'll see I get a warning media limit on audio two. It's not moving because it's hitting this right here. If that was down there and option down, I've got room for it. But because this audio is here, I don't have room for it. So what you can do is with snap on, when I option click on this, option alt and, and drag this down, you'll see that I get snaps in here. And too many times, um, oops, and I actually left option on there and copied it. So after I'm dragging it down, so I let go of the option. So let me do that again. Option Alt, click, let go of Option Alt, move the, the mouse down. And you can see I'm snapping it into place. So linking and unlinking within the timeline globally or specific to a clip or selection of clips is as easy as adding a keyboard modifier. 
All right, hopefully you found this uh, informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button for video revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best.